as you might be able to tell from the beautiful scenery behind me, I'm doing a complete 180 from what I did yesterday and I'm having the most urban paddle that I've ever done solo. This is my third time on the Milwaukee River, but my first time actually in the city of Milwaukee. Now I hope I really enjoy this because finding public access to this river anywhere near downtown was a colossal pain in the ass. I had this brilliant idea of where exactly near the third ward I was going to launch, but the city of Milwaukee had other ideas, so I'm upriver a little bit more than I had planned, but hey, I got all day. Oh, I better slow down. Wisconsin than you singers. Day drinking. around the Milwaukee River. Like, I'm legitimately shocked. Here's the city of Milwaukee post office. I don't know too many landmarks here, but I do know that that is the Harley-Davidson Museum. This bridge is insanely noisy. Wait. This looks like a really easy place to launch on the Menominee River. A tiny island on the Menominee I normally like to taunt geese, but they are outnumbering me. 
Moving on, fellas. Nothing to see here. They're hissing at me. That bar actually has its entire patio full of sand to get you that beach experience when you look across to that. It's just like being in a tropical paradise. I can almost taste the Mai Tai. Hey, and up ahead on the left, we have the Potawatomi Casino and Hotel. I think Potawatomi Casino is where I'm gonna turn around on the Menominee River. I've got some miles left in me, but it's just ugly. If I do any more miles, I think I'm just gonna go upriver from where I launched and check out that area instead. Urban paddling is one thing, which I've done on the Chicago River. That's cool because you are right, right downtown. Um, this kind of urban paddling is more just industrial paddle. Glad I did it, but not a fan. I don't think I need to do this again. Are you lost, buddy? once the location of the Milwaukee Cold Storage Company. At the time of the construction, it was billed as the largest cold storage house in Wisconsin. It's an historic building constructed in the style of Romanesque revival architecture and is located in the Walker's Point Historic District of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. go up river from where I launched a little bit. Where I launched seems to be like the absolute dividing line that separates suburban and urban. Now from what I've read that this stretch of the river can be a little dicey when the water levels are high but it hasn't rained here in weeks maybe even a month. Looks pretty tame right now. But I can see how this would get kind of sketchy if the water was high. I think it's just a little bit too rocky to even paddle up it. Um, yeah, it probably could to the right. I love having new experiences. Love seeing people having fun on the water. I'm surprised by how many rental kayaks there are on the Milwaukee River. The water is dirty, it's kind of smelly, and I suspect there's so many kayakers here because, well, there's really just not that many other options if you're in downtown Milwaukee, like none. Just wrapped up nine miles on the Milwaukee River. Now it's no surprise, I guess, that the Milwaukee River is a party on the water. For me personally, I like a little bit less population, a little more wildlife for my paddling, but if that sounds like your scene, I would encourage you to come to one of the many rental places there are here in downtown Milwaukee. You know, though, if you're bringing your own boat, that public access and parking are really difficult to find. And note to self, don't bring only salted pretzels for a snack. <laughs> 